Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Just playing around tonight. Kind of came up with this twisted cord looking thing. I'm going to draw an ellipse. Doesn't really matter what size. I'm going to make it 17 inches. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to draw a four inch circle. And then I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now you could realistically just take the uh, control button while holding it down and have it snap to right there. Or if you're not familiar with that, you could select both of them and hit T like in Tom, set your nudge factor on two inches and nudge that up two inches and now it's in the center. We're gonna control D and duplicate that. We're gonna move our center rotation to those two crosshairs that are in the center. And we're gonna rotate it 22 and a half degrees all the way around. But easier to do than that would be to get our transformation docker open. Uh, a lot of times my old laptop can't keep up with rotating, uh, but and it also it's a good practice. Go to Windows, Dockers, Transform or Transformation, depending on which one yours is, and we're going to rotate 22.5, and we need... Um, there would be a 16, but we only have one, so we're going to go 15, and we have that. Now, take away your circle, whoop, not that circle. Take away your interior circle, and then weld this together. And then take your three-point curve line, and I actually probably want to play around with this a little bit uh, to get it. I'm going to go from there to there and just kind of curve it. I didn't like the original uh, look of this. Um, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. I don't like the curve part. But now take this, control D, and make a duplicate. And so that one will be equally perfect. I'm going to move it, and I'm just going to rotate it. I'm not in the center. A lot of times I have to go off and come back, and then click off of it, click back on it, and you're in the center. Rotate that 22 and a half degrees. That's all we need is that shape right there. And there are several ways you could change that shape. But I like it. So I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and I'm going to fill it in. But before I rotate it again, I'm going to actually make it blue. And I'm going to get the Interactive Fill tool to kind of give it a shadow. And I'm going to go from top to bottom kind of. And I'm going to add a node or a color right there. I'm going to make that color blue. I'm going to make the outside colors black. I'm going to make the other color black. I kind of like that, but see how pronounced that line is? Well, we can change that by going right here to smooth it out and watch the difference. It kind of gives it a little bit of smoothness to it. Now, we don't want to rotate this. We want to clone it. So go to Edit and Clone. Double-click on it and move the rotation of the center and rotate it 22 and a half degrees. Now you can duplicate it as many times as you want because I like cloning and I've done quite a few videos lately on cloning. I'm going real slow so my laptop will please keep up. Well, the reason I like cloning because this is my control curve. I could change the look. I call it on the fly, look at that. So, you, and then real time you can kind of see what it would kind of look like. You know, if you think that's too dark in that corner, you could add just a little bit of gray. Uh, I like the darkness. I think it looks like it's going in, you know, each row. We could probably spread that out a little bit and not have quite so much black on the, on the edges. But that's a pretty cool twisted cord, I'm going to call it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.